A community is in mourning as a mass murder suspect sits in jail. A vigil to honor the four killed in Rockford has just wrapped up. The suspect now faces 11 charges. 22 year old Christian Soto appeared in court this afternoon. There he is on your screen. A judge ordered Soto to be held in jail on four counts of first degree murder, five counts of attempted first degree murder, and two counts of home invasion. Court records show Soto lives in the same Rockford neighborhood where the attacks took place over 20 minutes yesterday. We've also learned that investigators believe Soto grew up with one of the victims and that they were friends. Now, shortly after Soto appeared in court, community members gathered for a vigil. That's where we find WMTV's Tyler Peters live now from the scene. Tyler. I'm on the corner of Charles Street and Hillcrest Road. This is where the community held a vigil earlier this afternoon. An emotional moment for many as the community looks to heal from this tragedy. The greatest instrument that we can have today is love, y'all. Dozens of people showing up to honor the lives of the four people who died just 24 hours after Wednesday's stabbing in a Rockford neighborhood. Several community leaders spoke and everyone gathered to pray while mourning those who they lost. This cuts you at the root. I can't imagine what the families are going through. The officers that had to be the first ones on scene and see the victims in those conditions. This is not easy. People were able to sign crosses, each one having a name of a person lost. The victims killed are Romana and Jacob Schubach, Jay Larson and Jenna Newcomb. Jenna was just 15 years old while Jay was a mail carrier for the U.S. Postal Service. These are not your enemies. These are not your competition. These are not the people you should be given side eye to. These are the people that we share this planet with. The Rockford community now hoping to come together. Keep an extra eye out for your loved ones, your neighbors, your letter carriers, the young girl who goes to your neighborhood school. All of the kids and family members around you, keep that love out for them. Rockford authorities are now looking for ways to help the community move forward. Counseling services are being offered to those who may need it at a nearby middle school here in Rockford. For now, live in Rockford, Tyler Peters, WMTV 15 News. Authorities are crediting a good Samaritan for helping one of the victims in this case. Yeah, the sheriff says one of the victims ran from a home during the attack and was actually tackled. The good Samaritan stepped in to help was also injured in the attack. The good Samaritan stopped that situation and she could have easily been deceased if he did not become involved with that. He ran off, came back, tried to get into his Jeep and he was actually stabbed also, but he did a tremendous job in helping at that time. Flags are flying at half staff outside of the Rockford Post Office honoring the mail carrier who was killed yesterday. Jay Larson had worked for the Postal Service for 25 years. This tragedy occurred while Jay was doing his job, like many of us were at that exact time. Jay was doing what he loved, serving his community, delivering mail to customers that he has served for 25 years. In addition to the local investigations, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service is conducting its own investigation into the murder of the letter carrier. Stay with WMTV 15 News for continuing coverage of the Rockford mass murder as we learn new information.